Dee and today we are in the kitchen today and we are making blueberry cream muffins. These are really good. I have a lot of different uh, blueberry muffin recipes but this is just one of them. So let's go get in here and see what ingredients we're going to need. So right now I just have the ingredients for the muffins here. The streusel top we'll get to afterwards. So right now you need four eggs two cups of white sugar, one cup of vegetable oil, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, four cups of all-purpose flour, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of baking soda, two cups of sour cream, and between two or three cups of blueberries. It depends upon how many you want in there. And you can use fresh or frozen. I'm using frozen so I don't take them out. I use them frozen, don't let them thaw. So let's get going. So the first thing I'm going to do is just take the salt and the baking soda and I'm just going to mix them up with a whisk, just get them all mixed up. And then I'm going to set it aside. Just pour your eggs into a bowl and you are just going to beat these for a couple of minutes. been less than a minute but it's good enough and uh, I'm just going to gradually mix in the sugar. and thick it looks beautiful and now I'm just going to keep beating while I gradually pour in the oil Adding in my vanilla now and mixing that in. So now what I'm going to do is just alternate the flour mixture with the sour cream mixture and add a little bit in at a time. And don't forget to clear your sides once in a while. Now the only blueberries I have on hand are these fresh local wild blueberries and they tend to stain a lot. So my muffins will probably be a little more purpley looking than a lot of people's. Well, hopefully not, but. So the thing is, is you're not gonna mix these in. You're just gonna gently fold them in. You don't wanna see the purple showing up. Um, the, these blueberries are absolutely delicious. They just tend to discolor everything. So I'm just going to do this as little as possible. Now if you use the regular store-bought uh, blueberries, they shouldn't discolor as much as these do. 
but there's nothing wrong with the blueberries and I don't mind purple muffins so here we go and now all we're going to do is we're going to put these in muffin tins and preheat our oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit what I'm doing now is I have a bowl and I'm putting in half a cup of sugar one third cup of flour one half teaspoons of cinnamon and I'm going to whisk that together. Make sure it's really well combined. And then what I did was I took a quarter cup of butter and I just chopped it all up into pieces. And I'm going to put that in. And then just take my pastry cutter, a couple of knives, whatever, and I'm just going to mix this in. And I'm aiming for like little chunks, little pea-sized things. Now this is about as good as it's going to get. Um, if you like a lot of um, streusel on top of your muffins, you might want to make a second batch. But this is enough to just lightly coat them all, add a little sweetness to the top, a little taste of cinnamon too. So we're just going to go through and put these on all of them. These are ready for the oven now and I'm going to cook them for about 20 minutes at a 400 Fahrenheit, uh, preheated 400 Fahrenheit oven. And we'll show you what they look like when they get out. The muffins are done. They look awesome. Now, I did run out of it, but I just need a little bit, and I didn't want to make any more streusel topping. So what I did is just added coarse sugar on top, which I do for a lot of the blueberry muffin recipes, and it's just as good. Give it a try. Don't forget to watch all of our recipes. We have a recipes playlist, and I hope to see you again. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you would like to do that for me. Have a lovely day.